since we came to france there were a lot of things we were like oh my goodness does things have do things have to go this way hello and welcome to my channel today i have in the house rebecca rebecca kuruke <laughs> <laughs> so rebecca is from nigeria and she's one of my good friends here in france and today we are going to talk about the culture shock part two so if you've not yes. yet seen part last one. week's on you better go watch it so yes. i think rebecca will start first Hello, okay. so actually we are going to start with the food here in france as compared to where we come from ghana and nigeria so rebecca how did you find the food when you came okay now not to bash the food or something but they have really nice food here when somebody asks me what's your best french food honestly i give all the credit to their pastries they have some of the best pastries you can you can think of but something i don't understand in their pastry is the um, baguette the very hard bread yeah famous baguette yeah i find it very very strange because why should somebody exercise their jaw so much just to chew a piece of bread it's sometimes you can even chew the baguette and your tongue begins to peel or the <laughs> No, I'm serious. I've, I've, I've had that experience where I ate a lot of baguettes and the upper part of my mouth peeled because it's too hard. So, like, this is an example of the bread. Mm -hmm. This bread is so hard. Like, can you see? No, just look at what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to press. <laughs> I'm using so much energy just to press this bread, like, to form. What do you want to form? It's kind of form anything. <laughs> So I was I was telling Barbara that if I should stone the bread at her, <laughs> that she's literally going to have a headache. <laughs> so I, I find the baguette very strange. Like the, a bread doesn't have to be so hard, but they have the brioche, which is really soft and really nice. Amazing, oh a lot goodness. of a lot of butter. Like yeah. it's really really good. The brioche is so nice. Like I can eat a loaf of the brioche because of how soft and how nice it is. So yeah, that's that's it about the bread then um the second food i find very strange is the raw meat like and um, people don't cook meat for too long here maximum one two minutes the meat is done from the fire like you're cooking raw meat here why should you cook it for only <laughs> one two minutes and you're comfortable eating it that's very strange for me because in Nigeria, where I come from, you have to cook the meat thoroughly. Even, like, even if you want to fry meat, you cook it and you fry it. Exactly. Right? Where I come from in Nigeria, we cook the meat, then we fry the meat. Like, you don't just fry the meat like that and then um, inside of the meat is not properly cook, fried yeah. or cooked. And it's very strange for me. And sometimes you're eating and you can see the blood of the animal on whatever you're eating. And I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> we use the blood of Jesus. We we'll mark on the door. <laughs> I went, like, then it, like it doesn't have to be so. Um, you don't have to eat things that raw, right? Like, what if the animal had a disease before you killed it? <laughs> Not sure. Is it your disease? <laughs> <laughs> no, you go and eat the disease that is not your own. When you could have just cooked it properly and and avoided the whole um, eating of um, I don't know, but. Well, they've always been eating it and they are fine. So I don't really think it's a big deal Do. for them. Another one I find strange is the egg yolks. <laughs> so if you're eating something like a garlic in France, you, 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 there, there are some types of garlic where um, they put eggs. Like the garlic have eggs inside it. But these eggs, the yolks are not cooked at all now not i'm not being um i'm not being sarcastic i'm being literal the yolks are really not <laughs> i'm not being sarcastic <laughs> i'm being literal the yolks are really not cooked like you you're kind of like drinking the yolk in your I it's healthy for you <laughs> <laughs> and uh, i find it very strange because where i come from we boil the egg thoroughly and if you're going to fry it we also fry it with the yolk like yeah, everything should everything, be you perfect don't, everything yeah, should be you the don't, same you don't see you can't like pour the yolk like you're pouring water, water or, or something, something yeah. yeah so so i found that very strange also then the last thing mm. when it comes to the food is that um if you get invited by a friend <laughs> maybe for a birthday party and you guys should go to a restaurant just be sure to pay your bills by yourself and i was like 
I was sitting comfortably on my own. I didn't tell you I want to go for bed day. I didn't tell you I want to go to the restaurant. <laughs> why why would you have to invite me and tell me that I will be the one to pay my bills? That's quite different where I come from because if you are invited for anything, the person who invited you is responsible for your food, your welfare and all those kinds of things. All you need to do is to dress up exactly. look pretty like the two of us and go and eat. Exactly. <laughs> But 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 you come here and you are, you're obliged to pay your bills even after getting invited, which I found very strange. So and even do they tell you? You know, it's different. Exactly, that's the thing. It's different if they tell, tell you, you that you have to pay that you be paying your bills yourself, so you can come mentally prepared, or that. you decide whether you go or not. Exactly, <laughs> or you decide if you're going to go or not. But if nobody tells you and you just find yourself there, and at the end of the meal they are telling you, okay. You are paying your bills. You'll be like, oh my goodness. I wasn't prepared mentally for this. <laughs> and you are prepared what? <laughs> I wasn't prepared for this. I thought I was coming to eat fresh food. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, those are some of the cultural shock when it comes to the food-related matters. Okay, so now that we've, we've cleared the food, now let's talk about <laughs> their vacation and their break time. They don't joke with their break, break time. time at all. Oh my goodness. It's like, even if you are exactly on time like if they have to go for break at 12 p.m and even get there i think at 11 59 they are like no, no we are closed <laughs> come back by 2 p.m because <laughs> most of the time the break time is between 12 noon and 2, 2 p.m so during their break times like from 11 50 they are already looking at how to <laughs> discharge people like <laughs> at the place. Yeah, if you if if you for example if you go to the bank by 11 50 and you and let us say the problem you want them to solve will take a longer a period. longer period and it will get into the break time they'll tell you to come back by two they will not solve that problem for you at that moment you come no and for me i still don't understand why the banks have to go on break because it's like if i'm working like throughout the whole time the only time i can get to go to the banks mm. is during my break time but yeah. in the break time the banks are closed back home is like you can run a shift system yeah like two people can be there they go for break another person but these people know as far as a swap pm the banks, the banks are, are closed. closed and also there are some offices that don't open on mondays like i don't it's like they don't open on sundays they don't open on mondays so but they open on saturdays we, we should give them the credit because which office opens on saturday no but ba- banks in nigeria don't open on saturday saturday banking no saturday banks in nigeria don't open on saturday yes but they but they 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 open on mondays they yes. open during the weekdays but if you don't open on if you if you are closed on monday and you open on saturday i think it's fair enough no, but for in ghana um, there are some banks that actually not every but ba- every bank but even here it's not every bank it's not every branch that opens on saturday but in ghana yeah. there are some banks that open on, on saturday. saturday and there are some apart, apart from the banks there are some government offices that don't open on mondays okay <laughs> why yeah, and it's very strange like you come to the bank where we come from <laughs> banks don't close throughout the day banks open at eight close at five, five or four depending on which bank but and they are open throughout the whole time of their working hours but here the bank is open from nine to twelve, 12. and from two, two to six they so close if, at six yeah yeah okay. they close at six. i'll give so that to you, them if you if you come between 12 noon and 4 p.m the bank is literally closed hmm. like locked <laughs> And you're like, this is strange. <laughs> and also their vacation. Like, yes. When somebody goes on vacation, no calls, no test messages, nothing. Like, they, no they literally vanish from, from the surface of the earth. Like, you won't hear anything from them till they are back exactly. for vacation. And it's really, but actually, it's good because in Africa, yeah, all we do good. is that we work, we work, we work, work, we work. Vacation too, we want to work. So, yeah. for that one, I actually. Give it, give to, it to them yeah. but it's just because we are not used to and once we want something we need it right now but exactly. i think i think i do la- love the fact that when they go on vacation it's really vacation, vacation. yeah they get yeah. to spend time with themselves and yeah. their families and everything and then supermarkets not opening on sundays that, that is something that it busts my mind <laughs> like on public holidays and on sundays supermarkets are closed major majority of the supermarkets which i find very 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 strange because where i come from supermarkets are open seven days, seven days, days a in week, a week. <laughs> so, even if they get they can go for 24 hours but it's not possible yeah for security reasons, reasons they have to close at night at least but i find it strange that 
supermarkets are closed on Sundays. What time do they even open? Eight or on nine? On the uh, they open most of them open at nine a.m. Okay. and close at eight p.m. Which is quite late in my own opinion when you look at this because normally supermarkets open earlier like around eight. And they close late. Yeah, they close eleven p.m. in Nigeria. Eleven p.m. is when supermarkets close, not eight. Eight is too late. <laughs> eight is too early. Eight is when people are coming back from work now. Yeah. Like in my country, and yeah. when people are coming back from work, they that's when shop. they want to get things. And you are like, the supermarket is closed. Like, does it really make sense? But yeah, I think it works for them here. So yeah, we just have to get used to, to it. it. Okay. <laughs> So one of the things that up till now still surprises me was um, when I came here, the first church I went to, they were actually not taking offer tree after the service. So she you means offering. 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 Okay, offering like, yeah. You, yeah. you first go, you actually, there's some um, little snacks, you eat, you discuss and you talk before you actually have the actual service. Yeah. So we finished that day and I was uh, I brought money because I, for, um, it's, it's normal to actually pay give something to God after the service. So I brought money, but afterwards, like, they, nobody, they were like, you they took, were you done. Your money exactly. <laughs> I went the next time, and it was the same thing. So I actually went to another church, because, it's not because I, I, I did love the, I did love the fact they were not taking off church, but it was because they started too early for me. So I had to go to another church. Mm. And even for that church, it was in the evening. For that one, after the service, you act, they actually give you food to eat. <laughs> Without still taking Without offering. still taking off offering. And for me, like, it was something that was always on my mind. Like, how were they actually Coping, maintaining the yeah. church and coping? So sometimes if you want to have money, I just want to ask them, you know what, just give me your bank account. <laughs> let me let me send you money. Again. And, and one thing again, like, cultural show, it doesn't mean that it's bad. It's just yeah, different. Because I'm, I'm even sure, like, all, all the things we are talking about, like, when they also come to our country and they yeah, see yeah, all yeah. these things, they are like, what's <laughs> going on? Like, yeah, so, yeah. If today is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe. I and hope, wait, 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 before you end, yeah. like, um, tell us your own cultural, cultural shocks. Shock, yeah. to, maybe you've been to a new place and you find something very strange. Tell us in the comment section. We want to laugh. I know, right? I want to read your comments. <laughs> okay, so bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.